I guess one thing I like to do now that I'm married, a lot of people want to do when they're single. That way they don't have to share. They don't have to answer to anybody. I like to hit the lottery now that I'm married. You know, reason being, everyone has the same old boring answers when you ask them what they do if they hit the lottery, right? It's always the same. Ah, new house, trip around the world, quit my job. Not me. Think I'd take my money and go to CBS and just for one day buy up all the time for the price is right. <laughs> yeah. Have my own little game show. Yeah. Difference is, all the women that uh, the, all the women that'll be the contestants on there will be all the women that dumped on me before I got married. That's why I choose Price is Right. Yeah, yeah. I like the way Bob Barker will like start a sentence, he'll chop it off, and that other guy like you know he'll just come in and finish finish it for him. Oh, ladies, I guess y'all know why you're here. We all uh, went out with David sometime in the past, and I guess you're thinking right now, well, what does his wife have that I don't have? Tell him, Rod, a new car. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. A no limit, no expiration day credit card to Nordstrom. Da, 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 da. All this and more could have been yours if your a- acted right. <laughs> but I'm not bitter. So, hey, parents in the house, folks. We got any parents here? Parents, who are you? Uh, applause, some of you. A few of you? Yeah. I think there's a couple of parents who aren't answering. Maybe I'll rephrase the question. How many people in this room have ever taken a Fig Newton or a little Debbie oatmeal pie and eaten it in the corner of your kitchen with your back to the rest of the house? Anybody? <laughs> Anybody? Exactly because you didn't want to share one single crumb, right? <laughs> Sitting there thinking the whole time they can put a man on the moon, but they can't make a quiet cellophane. I don't understand this. <laughs> Same right. Tell you a little about the family, man. Stephanie and I have four kids, actually. Four. Yeah, let me run them down for you. My son, uh, uh, actually, I don't have to tell you names. Yeah, they're uh, 12, 5, 4, and 3. Yeah, my kids are 5, 4, and 3. Yeah, my last three kids are 33 months apart, man. Yeah. I'm going to have three kids in college at the same time. <laughs> I don't want to stunt anybody's growth, but one of those knuckleheads getting held back. You understand me? <laughs> Somebody's doing the fifth grade twice. Trust me on that. Yeah. All my friends, when they found out we were pregnant with the last one, they all said the same thing. Man, Ave, you got some swimmers down there, don't you, bruh? <laughs> I said, yeah, if you know like I know, they ain't got far to swim. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, um, <clears throat> I was walking through Beverly Hills the other day, and I overheard these two women talking about where they were going to summer this year. Summering. Like it's a verb. And you know what those women look like. They're all plumped and plucked and nipped and tucked. And I overheard one of them say, Bentley and I are going to take Bentley Jr. and Mercedes to St. Thomas to summer. And then we're going to go to St. Bart's, St. Martin's, and St. John's. We're doing all of the St. Islands. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, okay. The only place that I'm going to be summering is when I run through my neighbor's sprinklers holding a can of Tecate. <laughs> All right, I'm lucky if I get one afternoon off to hit the YMCA pool and swim with all the inner city kids who wear their snorkel masks and stare at my butt underwater. You know, that's my summer. But, you know, rich people are always reading, like, fancy magazines, you know, like Departures and Vanity Fair. Every other page is stuff I can't afford, like Cartier Diamonds or trips to Fiji. I mean, the only thing that I'm flipping through is the Vaughn Circular searching for a half-off coupon for Herpesin. Yeah, that's right. But I don't want you guys to worry. It's actually not for me. It's for the people I plan on infecting, so. Yeah, so depressing. Life can be depressing. I'm getting a lot older. I mean, I know maybe some of you are like, oh, come on, you're not that old. But I'm, you know, there's a difference between 20s and 30s. and. You know, I, I'm having a hard time like going to the clubs these days, you know, with my friends because I will put on an outfit that I think is like really sexy, you know, some like hot hip top that I spent all day searching in the racks at Kohl's for. <laughs> and I will roll on up into that club, you know, and I, I step inside and it's wall to wall skank, okay? I look like Laura Ingalls from Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> I mean, seriously, their shirts are like and then their skirts are like and their underwear is like I don't know where it is, okay? I, I feel like an 80-year-old woman with a walker. I'm like, excuse me, girls, I've got to get to the bar. 
Yes, bartender. I'd like an insure with a twist. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Move it. Where are my Latinos? Latinos, applaud. Where are you? Where are you here? Oh. Well, quit wearing your jeans in the ocean. Because I've had enough of that <laughs> You wonder why your kids can't swim? It's because they weigh twice as much as they did before they got in the water now. If I have to evacuate the shoreline one more time because some gordito and <laughs> Levi's... <laughs> is drowning in 10 inches of water. <laughs> the lifeguards are betting on that. You should know about it. I've always wondered one thing, though. Why do we celebrate Cinco de Mayo? That's not Mexico's Independence Day. Did you know that? That's not. That's the day they kicked out you know, the, the Spanish. That's September 16th. Cinco de Mayo is the day they kicked out the French. And I'm thinking, well, considering the French will surrender to a fireworks display, what are you celebrating? That's like bragging you're the tallest Korean dude. I mean, who the hell? You know, consider the rest of the crowd, really, you know. Actually, I can tell you why we celebrate Cinco de Mayo, because white people can't pronounce DSA Seis de Septiembre. <laughs> that's a mouthful when you got a couple tequilas in you. I'm sorry, that's... <laughs> oh, man, speaking of which, I gotta say, I think we treat different drugs different ways, and I don't think that's fair. Like, every time you turn on the TV, it's don't drink and drive, don't drink and drive. What about driving stoned? You never hear about that, probably because that is the most boring police chase you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> Okay, we're back live on the scene. What happened to the car? Now we just got out and started walking. Uh, we're going on hour number three, and the suspect is going on bean burrito number seven. <laughs> Left turn signal is still on. <laughs> and it remains unclear as to whether or not he will ever leave the driveway. Back to you. <laughs> it's just not a violent drug. <laughs> It is, my brother got busted for that. My brother was away at school for three weeks, and he got a DUI. Pulled over by campus police. That's like being arrested by mall security, isn't it? Every time, someone, every time he tries to tell that story, they're like, you could have just ran. <laughs> What's he going to do, throw his flashlight at you? <laughs> Stop or I'll finish my donut. What the hell? That's what bothered me, though. He was on a college campus, and he's the one they singled out. How drunk do you have to be? To be the drunkest guy at college. <laughs> Call them, oh, what's the matter with you? You're driving backwards with the arm of a dead hooker hanging out of your trunk? <laughs> Without missing a beat, he goes, nah, dude, she, she wasn't dead. All right, what's going on? Ice House, how are you guys doing tonight? <laughs> All right, cool, man. Yeah, I'm not from around from Compton. You're from Compton? Anybody from Compton? Yeah, I didn't think so. So look. But, you know, being from Compton, I'm like, I had no clue about like gangster rap or gangsters or none of that. Come on. My mom's from the South. She was real strict, man, so I didn't know nothing. I was so naive that, like, when I saw gangsters cripping and throwing up signs, like, uh, 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 I thought they was deaf. <laughs> I'm like, Mom, look at those boys. What are they doing? Put your hand out before they shoot you, boy. <laughs> They're deaf, Mom. They can't shoot. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, so now I'm in the Orange County, right? OC, right? Completely different, right? I'm way out of my league there, right? Like, people tell me, what's this thing with the big, humongous trucks? You guys seen these things? Oversized trucks, big old huge tires, roll cage, grills, black everywhere, and it says no fear? <laughs> You're afraid of something. <laughs> and every time, it's the same dude getting out of the truck, five foot two wearing a tap out shirt. <laughs> every time. I was trying to flex something like he's gonna do something, he's in MMA, right? Gonna jump up and sock me in the ankles or something. <laughs> Settle down, sir. Crazy. And then everyone in the OC is all about water sports, right? Going to the beach, water sports. I'm like, dude, you guys go to the beach to look like me. Why am I going? But I wanna get, you know, to know these people. I wanna, you know, fit in. So like, I should go to look like you. I should go at night. Get like a moon burn or something, right? But I'm not doing the water sports, forget the surfing, none of that stuff. Because look, Summer Olympics, blacks kill. We do it right. Winter Olympics, not so much. Because any forms of water, we don't do, right? Hockey, hardly brothers, right? Because ice is made of water. <laughs> Skiing, snowboarding, nope. Because snow is made of water. <laughs> Parachuting, sky jumping, hang gliding, nope. Because clouds are made of water. <laughs> Not doing it. 